We're here at West Blaylock Park again, looking for something to draw. It's July, so it's really hot, and we're looking for a nice shady spot. I got my two apprentices here with me, Sebastian, and Addy is somewhere around there. Uh, so far, we got a couple potential spots to draw. We're still walking around looking for something cool. We've seen a few lizards, some butterflies, caterpillars. Um, so a lot of cool stuff out here. Look at these beautiful orchids. That might be worth drawing too. What do you see over there? Wow. Look how pretty these are. They look like they have little mouths. Yeah. They look like they're singing. <laughs> they actually look like they're sticking their tongue out. All right, so we got ourselves set up here in this nice shady spot. A um, little bit of some dappled sunlight, which is nice. I think I'm gonna do this perspective here. I like how the uh, sun's kind of hitting his shoulder. And I might brighten up the background a little bit just to have it um, look a little bit more uh, standing out. But the kids are set up, my little apprentices. It is like 92 degrees. The phone says it feels like 117. So I don't know how long we're gonna last out here. We're melting, but we're gonna try to get this done. Show you real quick what my setup looks like. This is my little uh, watercolor box, my little travel kit. Got a few colors in here. Can't really open it with one. Oh, I did. Just a couple colors. I like to keep it simple. I got all my brushes in here. This I use just to uh, do straight lines if I need to. Um, I keep all my paper down here and it fits real nice in there. So first I like to just uh, let's see if I can put this in here. First, I like to keep this closed and just use that as just a little table. Get my sketch in and then I bring it in here for the watercolors. We've spent a few minutes out here and uh, we're all kind of frustrated with this one. I'm at a point. <laughs> Addie says she's not. But I'm at a point where I think I'm gonna stop. Uh, I think I'm just like spreading paint around and it's not getting any better, but I'll show you where I'm at. So that's my scene. I tried to keep it loose. And I'm sure if I kept working at it, I could bring it, pull it together and it would look pretty good. I think I'm gonna get a picture and uh, try to ink it at home. I was trying not to use ink this time, um, but I think, I think it'll look good once I make details. Okay, Addie's showing us hers. Let me see. Her perspective is over here. Let's, let's look at it from your perspective. Addy likes to include all the wildlife that's out there. I here. actually started over there. Oh, okay. Well, it looks really good. I think it looks like this perspective. So you've got a... Is that... What kind of bird is that? That is a woodpecker and that's an ibis. An ibis. We did see a woodpecker up in this palm tree. So she likes to document that. And now let's look at Sebastian's. Oh, you spent a lot of time on the statue. Yeah, I mean, on the statue. And then we're getting these plants, and we realized, although they looked simple when we first walked up, these plants are very tricky to paint. There's just 
I tried to simplify it, but um, there's a lot of colors in them and all these leaves, which are actually really spiky, are uh, tricky. So we had a good experience out here. It's beautiful. We got a nice breeze blowing through now, but we're all getting hungry and thirsty. So we are going to wrap it up for today.